Uh, Michelle, I understand you also <laughs> learned a little bit more about one of Bush's trips to our nation's capital. Yeah, I learned that through uh, going through the CTV archives. Uh, this is a report by Pamela Wallen, former CTV journalist, now senator, uh, talking about uh, a Bush visit here to Canada and talked about uh, some of the difficult things that they had to get get through. And, and we also hear Bush talk about how Mulroney gave him a bit of a hard time. Take a look. The government of Canada and Canadians don't want to be on anybody's back burner or taken for granted at any time. I think I understand his position pretty well, yeah. And yes, I got an earful. And he offered reassurances Canada yeah, has top priority. Here. This relationship is fundamental. It's fundamental commercially. It's fundamental in a security sense. Uh, and we are determined to do our level best to keep it on a high level that it's been on in recent years. So just a snippet of the long history that George H.W. Bush has with us here in Canada. And I do want to point out that given that long storied history, the prime minister has ordered all flags on all federal buildings in Canada as well as in the United States. Uh, take a look at this. This is, I believe, the Peace Tower, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, all flags on federal buildings today flying at half mass mall. Yeah, honoring a very amazing man. Michelle, we'll check back with you later. Thank you.